How to Grow Flaming Katie, Kalankoe Blasfeldiana, A Comprehensive Guide Flaming Katie, scientifically known as Kalankoe Blasfeldiana, is a popular and charming succulent plant cherished for its vibrant, long-lasting blooms and low-maintenance care requirements. Its clusters of colorful flowers, which can range from red and orange to yellow and pink, make it a delightful addition to indoor spaces and gardens alike. In this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of successfully growing and caring for Flaming Katie. Understanding Flaming Katie, Kalankoe Blasfeldiana. Flaming Katie is a member of the Kalankoe genus, a part of the Crassulaceae family. Native to Madagascar, it has become a favorite among succulent enthusiasts and casual gardeners alike. This succulent is known for its upright, compact growth habit and its stunning clusters of flowers that resemble small bouquets. Flaming Katie's foliage is fleshy and bright green, providing a beautiful backdrop for its colorful blooms. Selecting the right Flaming Katie variety. Before you start growing Flaming Katie, consider the variety that best suits your preferences. While most Flaming Katie varieties are similar, they may differ in flower color and leaf characteristics. Common cultivars include red, orange, yellow, and pink flowering varieties. Choosing the planting location. Whether you plan to grow Flaming Katie indoors or outdoors, selecting the right location is crucial for its well-being. Here are some considerations. Indoor cultivation. Sunlight, Flaming Katie requires bright, indirect sunlight when grown indoors. Place it near a window with filtered light, but avoid direct sun exposure, especially during the hot summer months. Outdoor cultivation. Sunlight, when growing Flaming Katie outdoors, it thrives in full sun to partial shade. Ensure it receives at least 4 to 6 hours of direct sunlight daily. Temperature, Flaming Katie is sensitive to frost and cold temperatures. It's best suited for USDA hardiness zones 10 to 12 and can be grown as an annual in cooler climates. Soil, well-draining soil is essential for Flaming Katie. A cactus or succulent potting mix works well for container planting. In the garden, amend the soil with sand or perlite to improve drainage. Planting Flaming Katie Follow these steps to plant and establish Flaming Katie in your chosen location. Planting time, Flaming Katie can be planted at any time of the year when grown indoors. For outdoor planting, choose the spring or early summer when the risk of frost has passed. Pot or garden bed, whether you're planting Flaming Katie in a container or in the garden, ensure that the chosen location has well-draining soil. Spacing, if you're planting multiple Flaming Katie plants, space them about 8 to 12 inches apart to allow for proper growth. Planting depth, plant the succulent at the same depth it was previously growing in its container or nursery pot. Avoid burying the stem too deeply. Watering, after planting, water the Flaming Katie thoroughly to help settle the soil around the roots. Watering and Moisture Requirements Proper watering is essential for Flaming Katie. Frequency, allow the soil to dry out slightly between watering. Overwatering can lead to root rot, so it's crucial to avoid waterlogged soil. Watering Technique, water at the base of the plant rather than overhead to prevent water from settling in the rosette which can cause rot. Providing proper care. To ensure healthy growth and abundant blooms, follow these care guidelines for Flaming Katie. Fertilization, Flaming Katie doesn't require heavy fertilization. Feed it with a balanced, diluted liquid fertilizer during the growing season, spring through early autumn, every four to six weeks. Deadheading, remove spent flowers to encourage continuous blooming. Pruning and maintenance, Flaming Katie is a relatively low-maintenance plant. Pruning, prune back leggy growth or dead stems to maintain a compact and bushy appearance. Propagation Flaming Katie can be propagated through stem cuttings or leaf cuttings. Allow cuttings to callus for a day or two before planting them in well-draining soil. Pest and Disease Management Flaming Katie is generally resistant to most pests and diseases. However, it can occasionally be affected by mealybugs or aphids.
Treat any infestations promptly with insecticidal soap or neem oil. Growing Flaming Katie, Kalanchoe Blasfeldiana, can be a delightful and rewarding experience, whether you're a seasoned succulent enthusiast or a beginner gardener. By following the steps outlined in this comprehensive guide, you can cultivate and care for Flaming Katie successfully, providing your indoor or outdoor space with its vibrant, long-lasting blooms and adding a touch of natural beauty to your surroundings. Enjoy the charm and simplicity of Flaming Katie, and relish its colorful displays year after year. Happy